Fatty Boombalati here with another beer review, and it's a uh, another one I'm doing tonight. Uh, so I've had a couple, so I hope this comes out all right. But it's Rogue Voodoo Donut, and I believe this is the second installment. The first one was a maple bacon. Um, forget maple and bacon and something anyway this one is chocolate peanut butter and banana and based on all the the reviews and what all I've heard about the bacon one oh it's coffee bacon I think anyway it doesn't matter this one's this one <laughs> but based on what I've heard about the other one I'm expecting it to taste kind of funky, like not good, but I couldn't resist. I've, I've got to try it. Plus, I like the um, the Pepto-Bismol pink bottle, and we all know Pepto-Bismol is the champagne of diarrhea medicines, and I'm just going to pour it in a tumbler. You know what my tumbler's full of? Regret. Sorry about the TV. I'm, all of a sudden it sounds loud. I'm not pouring a whole glass. I don't know what this is going to be like. It smells like garbage. It's, it smells like somebody threw, you know, banana peels, an old peanut butter jar. <laughs> Coffee filters. Well, it gets more pleasant the more I sniff it. Smells more chocolatey, but that first whiff is like. Okay, let's let's see. As you're blowing out the candles on your birthday cakes, remember, try mine first. Unbelievable. Um, it's mostly to me tastes like coffee and chocolate with more of the scent of peanut butter than the flavor of peanut butter. And a lingering um, banana. But nothing's really, all of the flavors are hinted at. They're all elusive, except for the, the chocolate. It's uh, not as cards. horrible as I thought. And for such a dark beer, it's like black, yeah. opaque. Okay. Well, it's, got the it's very thin. I, I didn't really point out the head. It's thin. No lace retention. It's not horrible, but I don't know. I might have to struggle through this bottle. I like the bottle and I want to save it, but it's just weird. I mean, The peanut butter is just not there. It's only a hint of scent of it. It's chocolate, chocolate, chocolate with some coffee and a little banana. Weird, weird, weird. The mouthfeel and the carbonation remind me of uh, a cola or, you know, a soda pop. I don't know. <laughs> Whose idea was this? I know it's a donut shop and they have these donut flavors, but either they didn't do it right or they just don't translate well into a beer, but it's novelty. Um, 
I'd say go out and try it. I missed the whatever it was, the smoky bacon uh, I forgot what all that maple bacon coffee smoke, whatever it was. And I mean, anyway, I won't go on. These aren't stellar, you know, these aren't standouts. And Rogue is a great brewery, you know? It's weird. Maybe they should just go back and reformulate. I don't know, but anyway, I'm not going to just blather on, but it's worth a try for the novelty, but like I said, I wouldn't go out and start drinking this. And it could, it could be a good stout without all these other funky tastes. You know, it has a potential to be good. It just doesn't like, it's just enough to annoy you, you know, just, mm. okay. Anyway, I'll shut up, but thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.